What's good, Mellow Knights? It's your boy GT. It's your girl Kimmy Coco. We are your host for Innovator Black Stations Connecting the Dots. Yes, we are. And today we're gonna talk about a few things. We're gonna talk about um, the death toll outweighing the birth toll uh, in the white community. We're gonna talk about Charleston, South Carolina. We're gonna talk about minimum wage, amongst many other things. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and put you on game about deaths outweighing births in the white community. So the New York Times posted an article basically saying that um, the deaths in the white community um, has dropped below, what well, that will drop below 50% of the population by 2045. It says that whites are also dying faster in 26 states than being born, which was 17 states two years prior. They say drug overdoses has something to do with that. And a few of the states, just the name, um, North Carolina, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and West Virginia. 13 of those states voted for Trump, and uh, four of them uh, voted for Barack Obama previously. Mm, mm, mm. Whites could drop below 50% of the population. You know what that means? They will be a minority, and yep. I think that that news is not new to a lot of people. I know that a few years ago they did a study and they had a projection of what people in general, what the population was gonna look like. And it was like, you know, just a mixed race person. So the more people get to populate and communicate, fall in love with different races, I mean, that's just the world that we're living in now. Right. So all those old theories, old ideologies are gonna just go with that population. All those old ways of thinking, and you're not going to be able to be a uh, racist or let racist ideas shape the government because guess what? Everyone will be mixed. Yep. Well, we are already mixed, but it's sense, like people yeah. just don't want to admit it or do their research and figure that out and realize that. So yeah. the death surpassed births among whites. So that's the main thing I think that people really didn't understand. Right. So I think it started two decades ago, they yeah, said. Yeah, right. I mean, it's a lot of interracial um, relationships going on. So they said fertility rates drop, so that probably has a lot to do with mm -hmm. diet and stuff like that. So what are they going to do? What do you think they're going to do to try to stop that, or do you think that that's an issue? Have you guys heard much talk about it? Cloning. So cloning. <laughs> so what else do you think that they're going to do? I don't really think it's nothing that they can do but just you know reproduce i mean at this point i mean what are you going to do i mean and, and keep in mind this is based in the u.s this is not a worldwide right they said thing, that so. after the great recession and mortality rates for whites who are not of a hispanic origin have been rising part by drug overdoses like you said mm -hmm. so i think that the opioid crisis what, what if they already know this so all the stuff that they're doing is you see how Trump just jumped on that opioid shit real yeah. quick? Mm -hmm. What if they already know this and we're just the ones that didn't know that they knew this and they're doing everything to kill us or stop us from they going won't. past them? They won't. Did, it, um, did the articles say which uh, race would be the majority at that time? I guess would blacks be the majority? I don't think it specified who would be the majority, but if I had to make a prediction, it would be Hispanics. Okay. Just because of because of what's going on like with the concentration camp and you know them migrating to america i, I think it would be hispanic you know what i mean yeah they said in california 52 percent of all children are living in homes with at least one immigrant parent that's a lot mm -hmm. so i would assume yeah it would be um his uh, in california Latin. california one of the biggest states exactly yeah. you know so yeah for 52 percent more than half of the state but I was shocked North Carolina and Ohio was actually on that list. No, I'm not shocked I about Ohio. Shocked. Yeah, I'm Ohio, really not. Yeah. Ohio is bad white. Yeah, the yeah. Midwest, the Midwest is, is yeah. farmers. There's a bunch of farmers. So, yeah, that, that's really not shocking to me. So, on Thursday, the Census Bureau released a population estimate that showed for the first time a decline in the white population. The drop was small. It was just 0.02% of 31,516 people in the year ending last July. But they had never seen that before. Mm, mm, mm. Woo, they about to get madder and madder. That's why they calling the cops on everybody. I mean, I just think they just got to come to terms with just accepting the fact that, like, everybody are mutts now. Like, you know, it's a lot of international relationships. There's beauty in some of everybody. Like, it don't have to be 
Um, if you white, you need to find a white person. If you black, you need to find a black person. I think you just need to be with who you like, right? And just procreate yes, that way. Yes. Like it shouldn't be white, black. It shouldn't be like that. Of the states where the now the deaths exceed the births, thirteen voted for Trump and thirteen voted for Clinton. For our states that flipped from Barack Obama in 2012 to Mr. Trump in 2016, Ohio, mm -hmm. Michigan, Pennsylvania, and Florida. It's not clear how the demographic change will affect policies in the future. Yes, it is clear. It's clear that people will be um, more open-minded mm -hmm. and they'll have policies that are more inclusive of everyone. Right. Why would they not? That was stupid New York Times. Why did you say that? I always said, though, I felt like this is like this per like Trump is the last stance. Trump generation is the last stance of like the super right, racist people. right. They're like holding on for like, dear life. Yeah, I, know, I, like, I agree with you. Gender, like, I feel like we interact with it. like the younger people, black and right. They interact a lot better than you know back then. I think the only people that's really gonna still have their problems are the people that's taught that. Mm -hmm. Yes, because the kids nowadays they really didn't really experience that much race. It's like. The older people are, you know, they're right. teaching them that. And they right, because it was segregation like, still. Yeah. I mean, but, you know, the younger people, the people uh, born in the They don't know nothing about that. They don't know nothing about that. They don't, I mean, they know because the people have told them, but they haven't experienced that really. Yeah. Across the whole South, um, white deaths ex exceed births. Oklahoma, Arkansas, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina. That's crazy. New yeah. Well, the, the Northeast too, New York, well, not New York, but New Jersey, Maryland, West Virginia. So it's just, you know, like you said, this is them taking their last stance, trying to do the most. Is the modern states that's in the 13 colonies? The original 13 colonies? Well, no, because New York is not in it. New York is the only one that is not in it, in Virginia. Mm. So most of the original 13 colonies, hey, that's a good, that's good that you pointed that out. And it, it goes by the migration, right? They went from there to the south and out west to California looking for gold. So all those old people, mm -mm -mm, you're not gonna have that. Uh, they're holding on, bro. They are really holding on. And if you want to read more on this story, you can go to the Connecting the Dots Facebook page, or you can also go to NewYorkTimes.com and read up on this article. Yeah. Make sure you also subscribe to our YouTube page as well as follow our Instagram page. Yeah, follow our Instagram page and also vote. I say that every time. I take every opportunity I can to say that because it's true. So what else we got going on today? 